Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today's video is all about Phil um, and just a bit of a pup update on his medical condition. So Conscious has got quite a few new subscribers as well. So for those that don't know, Phil has been through years of tests and vets. Um, he's been treated for thyroid conditions that he hasn't had before. Uh, well, he never had. He's been treated for thyroid issues that he's never had. Um, he's been tested for Cushing's. He's gone through so many and I'll, there's lots of previous videos if you just look up film medical condition um for his hair loss which we do get quite a few comments on um what he's been diagnosed with is alopecia x which is also known as as coat funk um and it's getting progressively worse we've been on treatment now for two months with a 40 percent success rate um but so far we haven't noticed any changes. If anything, the hair loss is increasing. Um, there are bits that are coming back where he's had biopsies because where the biopsy was, new, skill, new skin has generated. Um, so little bits of fluff are coming back, but that's only where the biopsies were. There's not any new hair growth anywhere else. Um, and we don't know if the medication perhaps is helping to slow the progression down. So we don't really want to stop, but we're not sure if we want to increase the dosage. Apparently that is an option for us. Um, but the side effect can be drowsiness. So we're just trying to talk to a couple of other Malamute owners that have the same condition and see what limit they've gone to. Um, because fundamentally this is cosmetic. Um, it no longer bothers him. It used to. He used to have quite itchy skin, which was my biggest concern. Whereas we've got him on a special zinc shampoo um, and I've also started incorporating salmon oil into his diet, which has been really helpful just for his overall skin condition, um, but not for regrowth of hair. I don't think, I don't think we're going to get any regrowth. I think if anything, the, the hope for us now is to slow the spread of alopecia X um, and not have to get to the point where you know, he has to wear a coat or a jacket daily because he has no fur left on his body. And we have seen some alarming photos of other Malamutes with this condition, more, you know, 12, 14 years old Malamutes with this condition as opposed to Phil who's seven. Um, but basically it's quite common. It will start in the tail and the back of the legs and then it'll progress to around the neck area, which is what we're seeing now. It's coming, you can see just here, he's that very thin, whereas V is, oh Phil. But yeah, you can see his hair is thin in here, whereas he's still got a nice thick coat on his chest and arms. And sometimes people comment on his his bald patch just there but that's a that's a blood test they shaved him down um that's not hair loss but it just won't grow back so that's where they always take his bloods um but yeah we can definitely see it thinning around here um and we're noticing patches now that are missing but he's still got quite pink skin whereas on his back of his legs and his tail it's black skin now um so yeah so our, i think our hope is just to slow the spread of it down he's completely happy in himself now the itchiness has gone and um, we've also met with a couple of um show dog what would the word be not a breeder show dog people um 
and they've been talking us through the condition and we've been talking about raw fed versus um, kibble which is what they're currently on so we've just been trying to get loads of advice from other experienced owners um, and then we're just starting to see a bit of a, a holistic therapist to try and help with anything herbal as opposed to just medication um, but we're going to continue on the melatonin for now. We're going to go back to the specialist vet um, and see what they recommend around increasing the dose. And I think we'll probably try and increase dose for another month and just see how that impacts on drowsiness. Come and sit up because you're not in the frame. Come on. You've got to stay in the frame. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to go back to the specialist and just talk about perhaps increasing it once and seeing if that has any impact if it does have on drowsiness and i don't think it's worth it because fundamentally it is a cosmetic issue and i don't want to make him sleepy all the time to fix something that is cosmetic um but if it does slow the spread down then that's what we, we're aiming for at the moment but otherwise he is a big teddy bear you still are teddy bear aren't you and the main thing is he's happy in himself Yes. Yes. So the main reason for this video is because we've been getting quite a few comments recently about how Phil's been losing weight. Um, some say it's a good thing, some say it's a bad thing. It depends on the person, but he's he's not losing any weight. We have weighed him. I will do a weighing video soon. Um, he's losing fur, not weight. So it's just that especially around the front of him, the fluff is going, so he's looking a bit skinnier. But he's not lost any weight, so. I don't want anyone to have any cause for concern for Phil and his weight loss. He's not, he's perfectly proportioned. Nico has some weight to lose, but Phil is perfectly proportioned. Um, but he is losing fluff, so he's starting to look skinnier because obviously his coat's disappearing, hopefully at a slow rate. Um, yeah. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pop-up just over here of um, other Malamutes with this condition and what it could get to and what we're trying to prevent for as long as possible. But these Malamutes are a lot older than Phil. They're 10, 12-ish age. Phil's seven at the moment. He's, he'll be eight in April, seven and a half years. Um, so hopefully we've got a long way to go before we get to that stage. But if we get to that stage, that's fine. We'll be buying all the jumpers and all the coats and anything that he needs as a fur replacement. You can get your fur coat, like a human fur coat instead. I bet we could. I bet we could. Not real fur. Not real fur. Full fur. We're a faux fur family. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions, if you have a dog that you think is going through this, we've been through all the thyroid tests that you can go to at every level. There's so many different ones, so many different kidney function tests, Cushing's tests. Um, what else have we done? We've done zinc deficiency. We did that a couple of years ago. Um, it's taken a long time to get to this diagnosis. So if you do need any help or advice or talk about our journey, then just leave a comment below and we'll do our best to help you. We just wish we'd had a video somewhat like this five years ago when, well not five years ago, it wasn't five, three years ago when Phil started losing his fluff. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you all soon. Say bye Phil. Say bye. 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 Ow. Ow. You're cheeky. Bye everyone.